I am Deep Ravina, Assistant Professor of Mathematics in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College. In this session, we will discuss about the topic on convolution theorem and the related problems. Okay. Already we discussed in the previous classes convolution theorem, statement and the proof. Today, we, dis we will discuss the problems. Okay. f of t star g of t is equal to f of t star g of t is equal to what? Integral of integral of 0 to t f of u of g of t minus u into d. Okay, this is the formula of the convolution theorem. Okay, now I will start with the first question. Using convolution theorem, find Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a into s plus b. Okay. Here, once you see what are the functions for the given question, particularly if they are mentioned convolution theorem means you go through that theorem, go through that theorem formula only. Okay, here I will take Laplace inverse of, I will divide the function as f of s into g of s form, that is Laplace inverse of f of s star, Laplace inverse of g of s. Okay, here what is f of s from the given question f of s is equal to 1 by s plus a. Okay, and what about g of s? g of s is equal to 1 by s plus b. f of s is equal to 1 by s plus a and g of s is equal to 1 by s plus b. From that Laplace inverse of f of s star Laplace inverse of g of s. Therefore, Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a. What is the formula of that? What is the formula of that? That is e power minus a t. Already we discussed in the previous session. So, inverse Laplace transform each and every formula. From that, we got Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a is equal to what? e power minus a t. Star Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus b also, which is also in the same form. That is why the formula is e power minus b t, e power minus b t. From that, let us assume f of t is equal to e power minus a t and g of t is equal to e power minus b t. Now, by using convolution theorem, by using convolution theorem, f of t star of g of t is equal to what? Integral 0 to t, f of u into g of t minus u into du. Already we know that f of t is equal to what? e power minus a t. And what about g of t? e power minus b t form. From that, what is f of u in place of u? I am substituting. In place of t, I am substituting u. That is e power minus a u. And in place of g of t, I will take g of t minus u form. That is equal to what? e power minus b of t minus u. e power minus b of t minus u. Therefore, substitute here in the formula integral 0 to t, f of u as e power minus a u and g of t minus u as e power minus b into t minus u du, t minus u du. From that, integral 0 to t, t e power minus a u, e power a minus b. From that, what is a? e power minus b t which is in the form of a power m minus n that is a power m into a power minus n form. From that I will divide that e power minus b t minus of minus plus e power b u into d u. Okay, from that what is the constant term with respect to u, u integration e power minus b t. That's why I will take e power minus b t as outside and the remaining part integral 0 to t e power of Okay, e power minus b t into integral 0 to t e power minus a u into e power b u d u form. Okay, from that e power minus b t into integral 0 to t here bases are equal from that add the powers that is minus a u plus b u into d u. 
from that p power minus pt into integral 0 to t i'll take minus outside and u outside i'll take minus and u outside that is e power minus u into a minus b into du okay from that now the integration with respect to u e power x form okay integral of e power x dx formula e power x integration of e power 2x formula e power 2x by 2 similarly here integration with respect to u here e power x that means e power minus u into a minus b integration is e power minus of a minus b into u by here the coefficient u coefficient as minus of a minus b minus of a minus b therefore what are the limits after the integration here just substitute the limit points are 0 to t okay therefore e, e, e power minus b t into e power minus of a minus b into u by minus a minus b limit points are 0 to t what is this now substitute the limit points for the next step what is the upper limit for the t here u limits are 0 to t okay in place of u now substitute the t limit that is e power minus b t into e power minus of a minus b into t by minus a minus b minus of in place of okay u i'll substitute to 0 right in place of u i'll substitute 0 that is e power minus of a minus b of 0 by minus of a minus b right that is equal to e power minus b t into e power of minus a minus b into t by minus of a minus b minus of this is e power 0 form that is 1 by 1 by minus into minus plus a minus b okay from that from that what is common here i'll take 1 by a minus b outside and the remaining part as 1 minus e power of minus of a minus b into t okay from that e power minus b t by a minus b into 1 minus okay i'll write e power minus a t into minus into minus plus e power b t form from that from that here i'll take e power minus b t inside the brackets that is 1 by a minus b into e power minus b t minus e power minus a t into e power b t into e power minus b t from that from that here 1 by a minus b e power minus b t minus of e power minus a t here bases are equal we should add the powers of that b t minus b t as 0 from that 1 by a minus b into e power minus b t minus e power minus a t into e power 0 form from that 1 by 1 by a minus b into e power minus p t minus e power minus a t of e power 0 value how much 1. Therefore, the final answer for the first question 1 by a minus b into e power minus p t minus e power minus a t. This is the answer for the first question that is a plus inverse of 1 by s plus a into s plus b is equal to what? 1 by a minus b into e power minus b t minus e power minus a t. Okay, now I will go through the second question for the convolution theorem. That is using convolution theorem to find Laplace inverse of, to find Laplace inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 1. From that also I will divide the function f of s into g of s form. From that question here what is f of s? 1 by s right and what is g of s g of s is equal to 1 by s square plus 1 okay therefore laplace inverse of f of s f of s into g of s is equal to laplace inverse of f of s star laplace inverse of g of s laplace inverse of f of s what is f of s here that is 1 by s that is 1 by s into here into Laplace inverse of g of s is equal to what 
वन बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस वन ओके फ्रॉम द इन्वर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर्मूलास लैपलास इन्वर्स ऑफ वन बाय एस इज इक्वल टू मच वन स्टार लैपलास इन्वर्स ऑफ वन बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस वन विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लैपलास इन्वर्स ऑफ वन बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर From that formula, sine t directly. Okay, that is one into one star sine t. Okay, I'll write simply that is equal to sine t star one. Okay, now I'm applying convolution theorem for that sine t star one. What is the convolution theorem statement? Okay, theorem statement for that f of t star of f of t star of g of t is equal to what integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u into du from that from that from the above step from that what is f of t sin t okay and what about g of t 1 okay now substitute in the above formula that is integral 0 to t f of u for from that what is f of u Sin u and whatever g of t minus u that is equal to one. G of t minus u is equal to one. Now substitute here integral zero to t sin u, okay, into g of t minus u as one into du into du. From that integral zero to t sin u du. Integral sin u, integration is minus cos u. Integral sin u, integration is minus cos u. And what are the limit for q here? Zero to t. Now substitute the upper limit here. Minus cos of t minus of minus cos zero. Minus cos t minus of minus plus cos zero value one. Therefore, this is equal to what one minus cos t. Therefore, very simple question for the second one. Therefore, Laplace inverse of one by s into s square plus one is equal to what one minus cos t. Therefore, Laplace inverse of one by s into s square plus one is equal to one minus cos t. This is the second question from the convolution theorem. Very simple one. Now we discuss two questions. First one as Laplace inverse of one by s plus a into s plus b, and the second question Laplace inverse of one by s into s square plus one. And the third question. Okay, once you observe, compared to the last two question, it is very difficult. Why? Because using convolution theorem for Laplace inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square. Yes, by s square plus a square whole square. From that, once you observe the last two questions, their numerator is not there. The directly numerator is one by of. But here, the third question numerator as yes, and the denominator as s square plus a square whole square. Okay, from that it is very difficult. That's why I'll write here how to divide the function here and divide the function as. S by s square plus a square whole square is equal to s by s square plus a square whole square is equal to I'll divide s by s square plus a square and second part has let us into one by s square plus a square. Okay, from that what is f of s? S by s square plus a square. One by s by s square plus a square, and the second one here, g of s is equal to what? One by s square plus a square. Therefore, apply Laplace inverse transformation on both sides. That is, Laplace inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square is equal to Laplace inverse of s by s square plus a square. Star Laplace inverse of one by s square plus a square. One by s square plus a square. From that, once you observe the first part, which is in the form of what 
Laplace inverse of E S by S square plus A square means directly from the Laplace inverse transformation formula that is cos A T. Cos A T. But from the second part, Laplace inverse of 1 by S square plus A square means there is no direct formula. That's why multiplying and dividing with A here. That's why I'm multiplying and dividing with A that is 1 by A into Laplace inverse of A by S square plus A square. That is Laplace inverse of S by S square plus A square as cos A T star 1 by A into Laplace inverse of A by S square plus A square formula is sin A T. Okay, I'll take 1 by A outside and the remaining part as cos A T star sin A T form. Okay, next step. Cos A T star sin A T. From that, okay, from that convolution theorem, f of t star of g of t is equal to what? Integral of 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u into du. From that above step, what is f of u? f of u is equal to f of u is equal to cos a u and g of t minus u is equal to what? Sin a of t minus u. Okay, f of u is equal to cos a u and g of t minus u is equal to sin a of t minus u. Therefore, substituting the above formula that is here 1 by a is there in the last step. Therefore, f 1 by a into integral of 0 to t cos a u sin a of t minus u du. That means here this is okay, sin a of t minus u into du. From that 1 by a into integral 0 to t cos a u, I'll take sin a, I'll take a is inside the brackets, that is a t minus a u into du form. Okay, here, which is in the form of what? Which is in the form of 2 cos a sin b formula. Right? Which is in the form of 2 cos a sin b. But what is missing here? 2 is missing. That's why here, I'm multiplying and dividing with the 2 here. That is 2 cos a u sin a t minus a u divided by 2 into du. 2 cos a u sin a of t minus a u du by 2. Okay, from that 1 by 2 a into integral 0 to t 2 cos a u sin a of t minus a u into du form. It's 2 cos a u into sin a t minus a u into d u form. What is the formula of 2 cos a sin b? That is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b form. That is 2 cos a sin b. This is the formula. Then you can write the formula in the above step. That is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b form. Okay. That is equal to 1 by 2a into integral 0 to t. Okay, sin a plus b here. What is a? a u. And what is b? a t minus a u. That is sin of a u plus a t minus a u plus sin of, okay, sin a minus b. That is a u minus of a t minus a u. That is equal to 1 by 2a, 1 by 2a integral 0 to t, here minus a u plus a u cancel, that is sin a t plus sin of a u minus a t plus a u into d u here. Okay, That is equal to 1 by 2a into integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin 2au minus at into du. 2au minus at into du. From that, I'll take a common.
from that, I'll take a comma that is 1 by 2a into integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin a of t minus t u into d u. Okay, after substituting the trigonometric formula, then we got 1 by 2a into integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin a of t minus 2 u into d u. Okay, this is a procedure for solving for this type of question here I'm, if you know the each and every formula for the intermediate basics okay then only easy for the this type of typical questions okay next continuation next continuation here okay here i'll take 1 by 2a outside 1 by 2a outside integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin a of t minus t 2 u into d u. For that, I am integrating with respect to 2 u here. That is, that is 1 by 2 a into sin a u integration. Sin a t integration is what? With respect to 2 u, sin a t as constant. I will write here. That is 1 by 2 a into integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin a of t minus 2 u into d u. Okay. Now, I will integrate with respect to 2 u. Integrate with respect to 2 u. That is 1 by 2 a into. With respect to u, sin a t as constant. That is sin a t. And 1 integration as u. Plus integration of sin a of t minus 2 u. Integration of sin a of t minus 2 integration is what? Minus cos a of t minus 2 u by what is the coefficient of u here? That is minus 2 a. Okay. And the limit points are and the limit points are here t minus 0 to now substitute the limit points here that is 1 by 2a into sin a t. Okay, here in place of you can substitute t and a minus of that is plus only cos a of t minus 2 into okay t into in place of you here you can substitute. Okay, by wait minus cos a of t minus 2 u by okay, 2 a minus of minus of sin a t into u limit as 0 plus cos a of t minus 2 into 0 by 2 a. Okay, after substituting the limits here, after substituting the limits, 1 by 2a into t into sin a t, t into sin a t plus cos a of t minus 2t, that is minus t by 2a minus of, minus of, sin a t of 0 means 0 plus cos a t by 2 a cos a t by 2 a from that 1 by 2 a into t sin a t plus cos of minus theta that is cos theta cos of minus theta is cos theta that is plus cos a t by 2a. Here, here minus minus cos a t by 2a. Okay, 1 by 2a into t sin a t plus cos a t by 2a and minus cos a t by 2a. Here both are cancel, both are cancel from that answer. 1 by 2a into t sin at.
1 by 2a into t sin 80. Therefore, Laplace inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square is equal to what? 1 by 2a into t sin 80. This is the final answer for this. Last question, very typical question. Okay, if you know the formulas only, we got the easily we got the solution for this type of questions. Once again, I'll repeat the procedure for the third question. Okay, what is the form of the third question here? Laplace inverse of S by S square plus A square whole square. From that, I'll divide the functions like Laplace inverse of S by S square plus A square star, Laplace inverse of 1 by S square plus A square form. For that, Laplace inverse of S by S square plus A square is equal to what? Directly that formula as cos ET star 1 here which is in the form of sin at but here missing is a in the numerator that's why multiplying and dividing with a that is laplace inverse of a by s square plus a square that formula as what sin at therefore cos at star 1 by a into sin at therefore 1 by a into cos at star sin at Okay, now applying the convolution theorem that is f of t star of g of t is equal to what? Integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u into du. From the above step, from the above step, what is f of u cos a u and g of t minus u is equal to what? sin a of t minus u. Now substitute there that is 1 by a into integration of 0 to t cos a u into sin a of t minus u du. From that 1 by a integral of integral of 0 to t cos a u sin a of I will multiply inside the brackets with a that is a t minus a u into du but which is in the form of what from the trigonometric formulas this is equal to 2 cos a sin b formula but what is missing term here 2 is missing for that i am multiplying and dividing with 2 that is 1 by i am dividing with dividing and multiplying with 2 that is 1 by a into integral 0 to t 2 T 2 into cos a u sin of a t minus a u by 2 d u. Okay, which is in the form of 2 cos a sin b. From that, what is the formula of that? Sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. From the above step here, what is a? This is a. And what is b? This is b. This is b. Then substitute there 1 by 2a into integral 0 to t sin of okay a plus b means a u plus a u plus a t minus a u plus sin of a minus b means what sin a u minus of b means a t minus a u d u that is equal to 1 by 2 a here minus a u plus a u cancel that is sin a t plus here sin a u minus a t plus a u d u that is 2 a u minus a t d u from that that is 1 by 2 a into integral 0 to t sin a t integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin a of t minus 2 u d u from that from that now integrate with respect to u that is 1 by 2a into integral 0 to t sin a t plus sin a of t minus 2u du that is what is the integration with respect to u sin a t is constant and one integration is u plus which is in the form of sin a of t minus 2u that means integration of sin x that is minus cos x that is minus of cos a of t minus 2u by minus 2a minus of cos a of t minus u t u by minus 2a and what are the limits for that 0 to t 
Now substitute the limits for that. That is one by two a into sine a t upper limit as t. I am substituting in place of u as t plus plus here minus into minus plus cos a of t minus two into upper limit for the u as t. I am substituting here divided by two a. Divided by two a minus of here u lower limit as zero u lower limit as zero that is sine a t of in place of u I am substituting zero that is sine a t of zero plus cos a of t minus two of zero by two a cos a of t minus two of zero by 2a from that 1 by 2a into t sin a t plus cos a of t minus 2t means what minus t cos a of minus t by 2a minus of okay sin a of t into 0 that is 0 plus plus cos a t minus 2 into 0 0 that is cos a t by 2a that is 1 by 2a into t sin a t cos a of which is in the form of cos a of minus theta that is cos of minus theta is cos theta that is cos a t by 2a cos a t by 2a minus into plus minus cos a t by 2a therefore both are cancelled plus of cos a t by 2a and minus cos a t by 2a is cancelled therefore the final answer for this 1 by 2a into t sin a t. Okay, this is the final answer for the last question. Very, very important question. Okay, compulsory one question from the convolution theorem. Okay, just you practice all questions what I discussed today. Okay, this. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.